Testing for red tide is typically a lengthy process that requires specially skilled lab technicians. But a new invention created at the University of South Florida is easing the process of detecting the harmful algae bloom. They produce a toxin. The toxin is released in the atmosphere called brother toxin. And that causes people with respiratory problems to cough and choke. But it's really lethal for fish. It kills millions of fish when there's a bloom. It also kills manatees, dolphins, and seabirds. So it's very toxic to marine life. Dr. John Paul is lead inventor of Red Tide Check, the first handheld device that can detect red tide in the field. It's battery operated and can take up to eight samples at once with results in about 20 minutes. This helps speed up the decision making process in closing beaches and shellfish harvesting beds along with determining the cause of a fish kill. Technically this can detect any form of life you want to detect. Dr. Paul has a USF patent to use nucleic acid amplification to detect red tide. Red Tide Check works by extracting ribonucleic acid from cells targeting the carbon fixation gene, which is specific to Carinia brevis, the organism that causes red tide. The carbon fixation gene is amplified to better understand cell growth and concentration, helping determine the presence of Carinia brevis. It's a more efficient process than project participant Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. They do red tide detection by microscopy where you sit there and you count the little cells swimming around and you've got to figure out which cells are the red tired organism, which ones are not red tired organisms, which I find very difficult. But genetically it's a very clean separation. 